All right, guys, so we're back. Hey, everybody. So they have a very special ration. This is a survival ration that one of the viewers sent in. Sasha, thank you very much, Sasha, for sending this to us. Um, this is from 1977. This is a... It's a 45 years old. A Buller Sat Bursatin Baration? Bin Ration? I just said it a while ago, now I can't say it. I'm not even going to try to say it. Uber, Leb, Leb Ben's ration. Anyhow, I translated it because that's a survival ration, emergency ration, whatever you will. Um, supposed to be 1977. I think by the date code on here, maybe uh, 1979. I don't know how they were dating stuff back then in Germany. It seems to be in good shape. Hasn't been open. Perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's going to be open right now. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. These are very, very hard to come I was by. Say very interesting on how to get in there. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna try to do this the most least invasive way possible. Looks a little greasy. Okay. So we have, and we may not even try anything. I don't know. I feel like it's a crime to opening open some of this things. stuff up. Yes, right. And we're seeing your translator out here. This is tea. I don't have to even translate that to know. And it's like petrified, <laughs> petrified big time. And here we have. beef cubes it has tape on it which i don't know if that's we're going to call it factory or not let's just unwrap everything first and we'll try to figure out what we're going to do here at least it's not in uh emergency caramels <laughs> caramel however you yep. say it we have three of those So in an emergency, you're gonna eat beef cubes and caramels, caramels. Yep, we have a little piece of metal here. What is that for? Nobody knows. This one is our mocha chocolate. Because in emergency situations, you gotta have coffee, right? Yep, chocolate coffee. I'm gonna gingerly pop that out of there and yeah, survival ration, this translates really good actually. Yeah, it does. This survival ration replaces usual food supply in the event of a food shortage since the soldier in action deceives them. So this is actually a uh, military survival kit, a pocket kit as you will. It must be available for a long time, take as little space as possible. The survival ration contains only natural nutrients that have been put together according to nutritional science. The main component is the main component is sweet that consists of sugars, small amounts of high quality protein, fat added. When you let the when you let it melt in your mouth, the substances are slowly added, enable the body to draw the body's own fat reserves to cover its energy needs. I hate that it keeps shifting. Um, if the confectionery is supplied slowly and evenly. The confectionery is supplied slowly and evenly. There is no feelings of hunger. Even in the absence of any other food, as the fat stored in the body is broken down, water is also available. Uh, vital kidney activity is also available for vital kidney activity, so the confectionery does not cause thirst if eaten slowly and evenly. The carefully dried flesh of the meat cube. There's a meat cube. The, oh, yeah. The beef, yeah. Oh, man, I'm moving. Boy, that it. is greasy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the meat cube with chocolate were not only added to the survival ration because of nutrition value, because of their distinctive taste, they should be consumed alternately in small amounts at certain intervals, plus preventing the survival ration from being mon monotonous in terms. 
Sterilization. This has an this has an ingredients list. So we already know what that is. Um so let's see here. Let me put this back in here. We'll shift that to the back a little bit. What are these? I mean, I guess you use them to cut something open to open stuff. You know, hard telling what that might come in handy for. Uh, I guess you can gnaw a fish hook out of one of those and catch Re a fish with it. Some kind of reflection for, yep. you know, help. So I kind of want to open these up. What do you think? What does Amanda think about this? Um, I guess we could open up and look at it if we could seal it back shut. Let me see what my knife of choice here. We'll have to find some tape later and tape that back together. I mean, it looks perfect. Yeah. Doesn't smell at all. Eat your meat block. Boy, you can barely, barely smell beef. So Look there's two big long blocks smushed together there, our bars. I'll take a gnaw off of that. Do you want me to take a gnaw off of that? It smells like beef bouillon. We're supposed to put it in water, right? Here. No, you're supposed to eat it. Like the Remember it said what? Dissolve in your mouth. Yep. There's no crumbs. Good thing I took a probiotic tablet this morning, huh? Okay. It doesn't taste like anything. Like, actually it does taste like beef, barely, but... <laughs> you just took that thing of a bite. Ma'am, sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> that tastes bad. It instantly takes all the moisture out of your mouth. Really? Hmm. It's like crunching up a whole mouthful of saltine crackers and eating it with peanut butter on it. However, is it rancid? No. Right. Does it taste bad? No, it tastes like beef bouillon. Mm hmm. All right, so if you don't see me in another video, you know what happened. Yeah. I mean, I, I could understand the situation, mm -hmm. right? Oh, next we had, what were these? Caramels? Caramels, caramels, yeah. Okay, so it still looks good. It doesn't smell real good. It smells like some of that old chocolate that you get in your race. Well. It's not good. <laughs> I didn't expect it to It's be not good. bad. This is a little bit bloomed out. Now that looks old. So it's like a coffee bar. Chocolate coffee, mocha. It smells like US MRE chocolate. <coughs> yes, very much so. I mean, I can smell the mocha in it. I can smell also a sourness to it. Cut me off just a little oh, bit. Oh, you want to try a little like sample a of little, it? I know you don't like coffee. Watch so your fingers. I'll take one for the team on this one, but. Oh, that's like that? probably like good enough of a slither. Is that enough? Slither, sl I can pick it up. I kind of feel that, ew. I don't think that was a big enough sliver to taste it, but. I'll cut you off another one. Are you Eat that. Like a toenail. What you're looking for is like sourness. Yeah, it tastes like a, a bitter dark chocolate. I can't even tell if that's really, I okay. can't taste much coffee flavor in there. It just tastes like a bitter <clears throat> dark chocolate. So what Sasha did do, I'm gonna push all this back here. He did send us this along with it. Some, <laughs> some fresh stuff, but. Uh, it was a very, very, very similar to mm -hmm. what's in the ration. Oh yeah. So. He got us enough to give us a little diabetes. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll stop for a second. Let's fix one of these uh, soups. Okay, so what we're gonna do real quick, he gave us all this stuff that pretty much is the same version as in the old ration. So before we start any of that, let's take our beef and noodles. 
I'm just going to dump it out here and we'll let Philip get in here. And it's got uh, like chunks of the Decent. bouillon. Decent big chunks of, chunks of that. Yep. Take a bite out of that. <laughs> we got our hot water here. Before we start with this other stuff, we're going to, it says 400 mil or a liter. About right there, I would say. We'll give her a little stir here. Some more spoons out here. We'll use a fork. We'll let it set back there. Stir it occasionally. So real quick, let's go down through the stuff you sent. The caramels, which is nearly identical to what the ration had in it. Caramel with a K and two L's. Tell you what, the knife works really good for opening it up. Small little things. Yep, small little fragile containers. The wrappers. There's your caramel. Recent, I feel like there's some kind of brand here called that. It's in a dark brown wrapper. They're hard. Is it? <laughs> mm hmm. Pull a filling out. Maybe it is hard in it. You have to look at it. I guess you'd have to suck on it. Like, weren't you supposed to suck on those, too? Yeah, but I mean, those are said. a little, those are deteriorated enough to where mm -hmm. you can pretty much do whatever with those. And while we're waiting on that. Neapolitan air. Uh -huh. Yep. She'll chew on the caramel. Caramel. There's actually a little tear strip here. It's always so complex in it. Can we get it? Yep. All the dust fell out of that baby. Look at that. <laughs> Four layer wafer bar. Very crumbly. How's that nice? Mm. Euro, <laughs> I know, looks like a rat's been in here. Nice gyro chocolate. It's not crazy sweet. Yeah, that's good. Oblatsen. Right, that was probably really wrong. Made in Germany. Some arrangement of butter cookie. Right. One to go pack it. So yeah, the wafers were really, really good. We had similar stuff like that before. Oh, that's cool. I went out of there and see what we got. Let's try to not tear the package. So it's a very like crisp, like a wafer thing like that too. I want it. <laughs> oh boy. It's like a butter wafer. I feel like it does have some sugar. I feel like it's almost like um, something you put like a spread or jam on. Yeah. Very, I mean, it's sweet. It almost tastes like there's something in the middle, but. Yeah, there is. Mm-hmm. Some kind of dark stuff in the middle. I wonder if there's like a nut, nut flavor or something in there. Hazelnut. It's a little bit. Could be. A little bit odd. Oh, look at our mess. Person might say. Nathan. <laughs> you know, hold on. OCD's coming in. We'll give her a little bit of this action going. <laughs> Shake it off in the trash can. We have some actual Nestle's mini Smarties. Well, Smarties in other countries are different than the ones we have here. Yeah, our Smarties are hard and tart. All an arrangement of colors. It kind of looks like chiclets, and I didn't want that many, but that's okay. These are chocolate, aren't they? Like, tastes like an M&M, &M, a plain M&M. &M. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we got those two chocolates and then our soup. Yep. Milk chocolate. Have you ever had Euro chocolate? It's almost like you can taste. Yes. You can almost taste the um, uh, powdered milk in it. Yep. 
That's a huge piece there. <laughs> so it did have little individual things. So that chocolate was very, very rich. Like that whole thing, you probably last a week off that. I've never had German chocolate that rich before. I know, it is very rich. Very rich and creamy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the dirty old uh, lint. So we get lint stuff here. Yeah, very good chocolate, expensive. Ball milk, another milk chocolate bar. Let's do that one in half because after eating that, it's like I'm on sugar off overload here. Want. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna fly. <laughs> Look at your knife now. Nasty. I think I like the lint better, but it's still really rich. I think I like that one better, to yeah. be honest with you. It's a very interesting setup. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to thank Sasha again for. Yes, thank you. Since it's over, I'm stirring this a little bit. I'm gonna grab a couple cups here while we go with this. And this Boy, all that the, sugar makes you really thirsty. This would be the grand finale. These stupid little cups. I hate this because it's so hard to get these undone. Nothing's ever easy. I'm not a big fan of all the little noodles because I had this before. Uh, it seems like the noodles don't really Just stay crispy. They don't reconstitute mm -hmm. and they turn to like this weird, like gooey, flowery weirdness. I'm gonna go fill a drink of gruel. <laughs> don't give me that much. Just like a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. That's good. Oh. There's some corn in there. <laughs> Strong. Is it? Very salty, yeah. Has a, a smell to it. Yeah. It's not too bad. Well, it is very salty, no. isn't it? Good. The corn is still. It's like it needs a lot more. Mm hmm. A lot more water. Oh. Well. <laughs> a piece of corn that's still hard. It's got a good flavor to it, though. Don't get me wrong, the flavor is really good. Ooh. That's about right. Yep, need way more water. We put a liter in it. Hand me a, uh, hand me a fork. I just want to try a noodle, even though you said it's probably not done. What's that? And the corn was crunchy, so. Yeah, that's where it's at. A little more water to it. Just like. Actually, the noodles are done, but they're very, like, doughy and. Yep. Yep. It's actually pretty decent with a little more water in it. That was my bad. Okay. That's going to be it, guys. That's all for this ration. All for all the new stuff. Uh, we thank Sasha one more time for sending this over. It's always cool to see. We'll be back very soon with another cooking video, another ration, like always. Yep. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Have a good day. See ya.